We've gotten a press sample of one of Verizon's latest smartphones, the Motorola Droid, so that Consumer Reports test labs can take a first look. One of the first things you'll notice about the Droid is how thin it is, at least for a phone with a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. And it's got a large display, 3.7 inches. And it's fast, whether you're switching between apps or downloading web pages. One of the nicest features is you can view all of your emails from home and work in one view. And they come color-coded, so it's easy to spot which email account they come from. The Droid is also one of the first phones to offer a free beta version of Google Maps navigation. And you get spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions, something you have to pay for on other phones. Head south on Truman Avenue toward Executive Boulevard. All in all, we like what we see so far, but we do have one quibble. The Droid, after all, is a phone, so it should be easy to make a phone call. But there's no button to press. You have to get to the virtual phone button to make a call. I'm Mike Geekus with Consumer Reports.